She's looking all peaceful. But you know, she is ready to pounce. Aren't you, baby? I know you are. Watch your birds. Let me do this. I actually hadn't planned to film this today, but right after the last segment, hi, she's, she told you she's ready to pounce. She's ready to pounce. Get back. Right after the last segment of our last session, I went to ColourPop to see about replacing those colors. No can do. ColourPop. Um, ColourPop no longer has that big of a selection for biops. Now, I suspect this is because they put out shit every fucking week. And people aren't buying their shit every fucking week. And um, so to encourage people to buy the shit every fucking week, I'm sorry, uh, they reduce the amount of shades for their biop. So now I've got, I've got several different, well, first of all, we'll look at the Prideful later. I will look at the Prideful later. I don't use it much, but I didn't put it in the kit to begin with at one point. I think I put it in and then I took it out. Um, I actually really like this and it's not available anymore, but we'll, we'll take a look at that later. It may have some colors that I'm going to be missing, at least until the other Lorella comes in. But as you can see, I have a number of different Biop palettes. And the only one that I'm really interested in trying to, the only two I'm interested in trying to keep is... Uh, My Libra palette, which honestly I'm not, I haven't used in ages, so um, I will probably go ahead and um, at least pull this purple out of here because uh, I need that dark shade of purple. The shimmers I'm not worried about. Shimmers are very hard to work with on the paper, at least at this point for me. So I'm probably going to pull that purple out. But most of these um, I got... I'm going to see if I can try to find colors. Oh, I can already tell I'm not going to be able to. Uh, I may have to lean in on that biop because you can see most of what I bought is shimmers. <laughs> so, um, this is a mess, folks. I'm, I'm really upset that they do not have those colors anymore. And, um, yeah. There's some things I can do to keep the rainbow palette. For example, uh, instead of having this bright shimmery pink up here, I can replace the color that was here with this bright shimmery pink. It's along the same lines. It'll fill the thing. It has sort of a purpley cast. I don't care. Um, I have other bright pinks. There is the Lorella. I can use the Lorella also. So I could probably just swap this out. So the Lorella has... Well, oh, it's not as dark. That it has a shade real close to this one. It has more of a red cast, whereas this has more of an orange cast. I'm all the way over. So you can see this has more of a blue tone, whereas this has more of a red tone. But I don't mind having more of a, a blue tone. So... We can put this back once I find a place to put one of these browns. Um, definitely going to take out this lighter purple. I wanted darker colors. I do have a dark purple here. Other than that, 
and take this purple and put that in for my purple. Use this one in my, that works. That actually works really well. I can put that one up there. Okay, so I can't do anything out of this one because this is all shimmers. And like I said, shimmers don't really work. So we'll move that off to the side. I'm gonna take this mint. I'm gonna put this mint over here. And I figure I can go ahead and keep this yellow in here. This yellow is a good replacement in this palette. Um, still not happy with this. Gonna say, not 100% not pleased with it, but it's better than it was. We'll go with that. And I'll keep this in there for now until the new tropical comes in. Um, I might end up keeping them both, but the Tropical was really cheap. I got it on sale, and hopefully it'll have some of these nice bright colors, and I have some shade variations, so that's what I'll do. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead, and since I'm already here and we are started, I'm going to go ahead and um, set up to do the art. Uh, I'm going to play with something on the leaves, and we're going to see how it works. I'm going to try to bring some of the color that I've laid down up and, and try a few different other um, techniques and things. So we'll, we'll see what happens. So here is the, it's not dark enough, obviously, but here is the um, inspo photo that I'm working with, to be in wild. And um, this has more of a watercolor look to it now that I kind of like. But as you can see, what I did up here just looks dusty, and that's what I was getting really irritated with it. I don't mind that in the flowers for some reason, but in the leaves, these leaves are these leaves are very dark and dramatic looking, and I wasn't getting there. And apparently, putting down a sheen of um, water-activated liner <laughs> helps uh, a little bit at least, and. Um, 
I tried the lip pencil, eye pencils you saw, but it was a little too dark. So, but these look more solid than this stuff up here. So that seems to have helped. And I'm wondering when I get the new palette, if the colors in the new palette will also help because now I have this set down. Well, I'll have to play around with that a little bit more in the future. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tweak some of the leaves before uh, some of the flower stuff before I go. I'm looking at my inspo picture. It's not too bad. Is it? <laughs> Is it? Is it? She says with hesitation. Um, but yeah, I'm going to tweak around with these a little bit more and um, Monday this is Saturday I'm filming this. Monday my other palette comes in and next week I'll, when I do my next little segment um, we'll play with the new palette and see if any of the colors in there help with this. I can see from right here this does need to be darker. I'm, I'm being a little too cautious with how deep it goes. So it needs to be darker. It needs to be darker. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and play around with these, and then we'll go, we'll, um, we'll close off this segment after a little bit of playing around with these, and then I'll uh, do my next segment, and we'll talk more then, hopefully. Hopefully.
folks so that new palette came in and between these two this is the prideful that I showed you before it has most of the colors I want and the one that I custom made out of butchering now the nice thing was is when you see the prideful you'll see it I was able to swap out some of the colors that I was upset about um, and I put that yellow shimmer back in here but I was able to swap out some of the colors that was in that rainbow palette that I had created the only color I wasn't able to swap out was this one here it is the only one that I couldn't find a dupe for in any of my palettes that I have currently so it's staying here because I've already used it in the image and I don't have a, a duplicate hi baby hi can I have you get back thank you so the other palette this is from Lorella I was actually I actually got the PR box set for about 12 bucks and um, I don't want to flash you with this mirror so as you can see it has all the colors I'm only missing one color from the fade into hue so the rainbow palette got put away and the fade into hue got put into way put away and that is a darker shade of this and I think I can create a darker shade of this by mixing this with other colors so I'm pretty happy um, this is also a red but you'll look you'll see if you compare them this is a very orangey red this is a very blue red so if I find another shade like this or Colourpop offers this shade again I will be purchasing it and putting it into my rainbow palette that I had to butcher for this but basically everything else went back into the rainbow palette I pulled out a few other colors from other palettes and I'm much happier with my options hi baby she wants to be a part at any rate as soon as this girl lets me I'm gonna go ahead and get some work done on here we're not gonna do much on leaves today at least I'm not going to do much on leaves today with you guys. I will, I'm scratching her neck. That's why my arm's over here. I will, um, no babe, no, no, stop. That's my light. You cannot play with my light. No, stop. She's so insistent. Anyway, I am going to go ahead and start working on some of the other flowers. And later, um gonna play with this palette and see how it works on here as well might even start on this one I'm gonna see how this this palette works on here I don't expect to be problems because Lorella is actually a fairly decent brand she's getting into everything um, Lorella is actually a fairly decent brand and I've not had any problems with the few of their palettes that I've gotten and I imagine that they will work just as well on here so I'm going to finish with this setup I hope since I got a little monster over here and uh, we'll get we'll, we'll get into some more some more we'll play with some of these colors and some more I'm not paying attention to her so she has not departed As soon as I pay attention to her, she will probably depart. Anyway, I think we're about ready to go. No idea how long she'll stay, but she'll find me fun stuff.
so this is a very short session since we got the tropic like it's hot from Lorella. This is still on sale at the time that I'm doing this, if you're interested in it. Um, it came with a PR package. I think it was like 12 bucks, something like that. So it was really nice. Nice price. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do for now. And um, I hope, as you can see, the Lorella colors did really well. Um, I'm still struggling with where I need things to be white. And lessons learned about where my hand goes and stuff. So when I work on the leaves later without you guys, I'm going to probably flip this and work the other way around. But anyway, that's it. I hope I will see some of my um, people who are liking this. I've had a few comments, not many, but a few comments from people who are really enjoying this. And I hope I see you next time. Bye. Look, she, 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 she stayed there the whole time. She stayed there the whole time. Alrighty.